Hey guys, today I will show you what functions can your uh, 9 bot kick scooter F2 Pro or similar scooters perform if you unlock it uh, and change the region. If you change the region from Europe or China or another region to the US region which supports 32 km per hour. So actually my scooter is F2 Plus but when I uh, adjust uh, the serial number it becomes F2 Pro so let me show you which functions you will have after you un unlock your scooter, upgrade your speed and change the serial number. So what you've got, power off here, slide to power on. So this one pretty simple, uh, 52 kilometers left on echo mode. Here's a battery, serial number and the battery information for the capacity, voltage, temperature and battery status. About vehicle, here need to load, set the password, it was before, so you can lock your uh, scooter with password and lock with your phone. Energy recover, still same options, I use medium, which is more than enough. And the cruise mode, so basically here you can enable cruise mode by pressing direction indicator for 3 seconds. When riding, cruise mode will enable when rider press and hold the direction indicator switch for more than 3 seconds with the buzzle ring and long beep and crease icon light up. So let's set this option and I will test it out right now on the kick scooter. Alright, you can see my bike here, I put it up a bit to the turn the wheel and it will not go. Basically, it's fixed now. It's in a parking mode now. I will show you actually to exit it. You should press uh, the brake. I will show you how to enable it before. So, you, as you see for now, you can start riding without the push. In the echo mode, is 15 km per hour. Drive mode become 25. And speed mode becomes 32 kilometers per hour so one more time 32 to enable the cruise mode you need to press at the same time this and push this one for three seconds hold it up so let me try it i will pause the video as i cannot hold the camera press this one and press at the same time the start button and then let's see how it ends up i will push to echo mode not make it too fast so let's try it out so as you see cruise mode is activated i'm not touching and i can add i can turn it off you see i just turn it off so one more time so 15 kilometers per hour you see the wheel is spinning here and i'm not touching anything and i think if you touch any button now this button is fine, if I touch uh, the gas button it will stop and you see here it's appeared indicator of cruise mode activated. It can be same for any like drive or for speed, you see it's still working and to stop it you just press here, that's it. So very simple. All right, except the cruise mode here, you can also disable it or activate it by holding throttle for five seconds. So this one, you probably not see that well, uh, but let me try this option to hold it for five seconds. Before this, uh, what I changed in the setting also, which is not available in a global version or Europe version, is the start speed. So you, usually you start from three kilometers per hour. But I would like to start from 0 km per hour and not push all the time the scooter to go or 1 km per hour is up to you or even 5 km per hour. Uh, also you should uh, pay attention that adjusting the engaged speed when the start speed is set to less than 3 km, so in our case 0 km, the scooter will automatically enter park mode if no action for 6 seconds. Press the brake, so you need to press the brake all the time to exit the park mode. So also this one I've activated here. It shows me no internet all the time, but okay, it doesn't matter. Alright, so let us test out again the cruise mode. Alright, I'm back here and I'm parking mode. Disable it and try cruise. We should hold for 5 seconds. And let's try drive mode. Again parking. 1, 2, 3, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 
yeah done so maybe around six seven seconds need to hold and you see what appears here is actually a cruise mode indicator 25 kilometers per hour so let's try it out also with 30 kilometers per hour speed one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so around 10 seconds so you see here 32 kilometers per hour cruise mode everything works well so let's move back to the app all right we're back in the app here and let's see what el which else functions we've got so i will put by default option which is more convenient to me energy recover as i showed to you still same walk mode its max speed is 5 kilometers in the walk mode so i keep it here charge limit you can change not to charge it for 100 percent but you can charge it from 80 to 100 uh, a lower charging limit will prolong battery life so just for your information uh, imperial metric system you can adjust mile or kilometers per hours also custom sport speed now it's available 32 as i mentioned in a video 25 kilometers for drive mode and 15 kilometers is for echo mode also acceleration speed i also use normal which is more than enough and the max speed 32 which is also it's good to set like this as you have now drive mode which is 25 but the speed mode before was 25 and drive mode was 20 so this is more optimal a locking function so basically you can lock it's available in previous version you can just lock your uh, lock your device let's say and unlock it with your phone also abnormal alert and if someone touch your device it will make some noise direction indicators indicator sound also on when pressing direction so you can hear the sound uh, also you've got uh, segway and bot lab which shows you the keep wiggle steady and slippery road actually this function is in a testing right now um, and I don't find any usage for now, but maybe it will be useful if you're uh, going around after the rain Then it will support you not to fall from your bike Actually from all the settings that's pretty much it. I really recommend you to unlock this function and to use your uh, scooter use your e-scooter for full power and if you want to know how to do it you can find it in a link in the description to this video i've already made one video how to unlock uh, 32 kilometers per hour for a almost any scooter so you can check this video below also put a thumbs up if you still have any questions how to do it or what other function you can leave it in the comment below i will reply really fast and thank you very much for watching put the thumbs up and see you next time